we may very well have stayed at the most unique campground ever. Stay tuned. This week we stayed in all about relaxing RV park. It was in Theodore, Alabama, right close to Mobile, Alabama. It may very well have been the most unique campground ever that we have stayed in. It was not at all what we were expecting, but we were very happy with it. There was so much more. Stay tuned. So at this campground, they even include your fur babies on your welcome sign, which I think is just super adorable. Now each site has its own little grass patch and these are pull through but like this rig here is really short so you have room in the back if you want to park a car or something. And there are gates at both the entrance and the exit which makes it really nice. This right here is the pet wash station which I thought was just really cute. It's just a big old bathtub that they put out here with a sprayer. This is one of the most well-maintained parks, I think, of any that we have been at. And everything is decorated for fall, which I thought, you know, I haven't been to a lot of, I guess it's a private campground, and I haven't been to a lot that have been really decorated the way this one is. All throughout the park, you have lots and lots of decorations. Really nice pool with the planted palm trees. Kind of gives it a little tropical feel. There are not fire rings at each location, but there's an area up here and there are uh, a couple of fire rings over here. I know at least one. No, it's a fire pit. This is where you can sit and just kind of hang out so that you can have shade because there's not a lot of shade in the park itself. There are two of these back here and they're totally in the shade so that's nice. And then a nice big fire pit. The signs say always five o'clock here. This one says welcome to the porch. but it's just a nice little sitting area. So there are four restrooms here and it's just really nicely decorated. The laundry room's in the back and each restroom, let's see if I can find the light, is just like a personal restroom. Like you were have, would have if you were at your home. So I think it's really, you know, very, very nicely done. The laundry room is really nice too. And they even give you an ironing board and an iron if you need to iron things after you wash it. And there are three washers and three dryers. And someone's doing laundry. Nice big table to fold. They even supply a steam cleaner down here. I guess if you, not steam cleaner, but steamer, if you have something you need to steam. So we like the tropical feel because they've really got palm trees planted everywhere. Mobile is on the coast, but there are just not a lot of palm trees in Mobile. You can get propane here as well. The park is a Good Sam's Park, so if you're a Good Sam's member, you can get a discount for staying here. Okay, and this is the clubhouse that is part of this park, and that's what we think really makes it different. It's just a little different park all the way around. But you can come here, you can hang out, Plenty enough tables. There's even a pool table. A couple of pieces of exercise equipment. Today they've got a game on the TV. 
Just really different. It's really neat because if you had a rainy day and some other people in the campground, you'd have a great place to go to and hang out without having to just sit in the camper all day. So, all my travels, this is the first time I've seen anything like this in an RV park. And like I said, it's fully decorated and extremely well maintained. There is a second, if you didn't like that game, you could always sit over here where there's another TV and watch the game there. There is a, hope I didn't make it by Dizzy, a piano back here in the background. So you could hang out and you had to play the piano, entertain everyone. It's just very unique in here. They even have the entrance to the park nicely decorated. Pumpkins in front of, because we are here in the fall of the year, in case you haven't noticed by the decorations. I'm saying the pumpkins are made out of picket fences. Oh, okay. So, they even included the football thing right there on the gate. Football. Just an extremely nice little park. And this is our site, and this is the sign that they painted in front for us. They even put Sadie and Alvin and Bella's name on it. So if you're ever along the Gulf Coast of Alabama, maybe headed towards Orange Beach or Dauphin Island or even Biloxi, and you come within staying distance of this little campground, take a chance and stop in. Yeah, and also, what's been the most unique campground you've ever stayed at? If you got one, put it in the comments down below. Yeah, we would love to hear it because we really like unique campgrounds. So, take a quick minute, give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Then, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. That's right. And until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America!